Welcome to the Cisco UCS Management Pack installation video. Today we're going to be covering checking system compatibility, creating a least privileged user, installing the Management Pack, and then configuring the adapter instance. You can find our documentation at docs.vmware.com. And here we can search for True Visibility Suite Documentation and clicking on the first link. So we'll give you all of our management packs. And so we'll go down to Cisco UCS. First, let's go to System Requirements on the left. And then we can scroll down to the bottom for the credentials portion. So let's get into least privileged user creation. First, we'll start with a UCS central user. We can go up to the settings button at the top right, and then we'll go to a user settings. On this page, if we went down to local users, we can create a new user with the plus sign at the top. Now, we'll give it a username and you can give it a description if you'd like. And then let's go up to the roles tab so we can assign it permissions. The management pack only needs read only permissions assigned to it. And then if we go back to the basic tab, we can give it a password. And that covers creating the user in a UCS central. To create a user on a UCS manager, We'll go down to admin, locally authenticated users from the left menu. And there we can add a user. Here you'll choose the login ID. So this is what we'll be entering into uh, the management packs configuration and a password. By default, the UCSM will give it read-only permissions. That is all the management pack requires, so we don't have to select anything from there. Now let's cover the management pack configuration. If we go up to administration and our Operations Manager UI. And then if we go down to Repository, which is three down from the top. Scrolling to the bottom of that page, there's an Add or Upgrade button. Here we can browse to the downloaded management pack. Now there's two buttons on this form. Uh, install if it's already installed and reset default content. Those are only going to be useful for an upgrade. And then once the pack's uploaded, you go to the user license agreement and then the installation. This part's been greatly sped up for the video. It'll take much longer in your environment. And then once it's installed, we can go to add account. Here you can give it whatever name you'd like. And then the host will be the UCSC or UCSM, we set up the LPU on, the least privileged user. I'll click the plus sign here. 
and we'll type in the user that we created. Under the credential name here, you can give it whatever user you want. And then let's hit validate connection to make sure everything goes through. And that was successful. So now we can add it. Now during the first collection cycle, it will show up as a warning. So this may take five minutes or more to disappear or to turn green. Let's refresh. And it's all green. Uh, it is worthy to know that in, uh, for a domain user, they should follow the format below, UCS-LDAP source-LDAP username. If you have any questions, please contact your rep. Thank you.